Hello my Asgardian Minecrafters and welcome back to another episode of Shrewsbury in Minecraft. I am Thor Hammerhand and today we are going to be finishing, well no, actually no I'm not going to do anything on this. This is just a little look-see. Um, I have been told that I am living in the past. Boots does not live, well, maybe Boots does live there, but Comet definitely does and that's, that's next which I thought was this one because I'm working from memory and from the uh, oh, Google Earth at the moment, I'm, yeah, I'm struggling because everything changes, everything goes bust, everything, everything gets mucked up. But I have put out the whole of this car park here. There aren't any cars on it. I can't be bothered with cars at the moment. I've got far too many things to be building, to be worried about cars. But around the back here, I've got like a little um, area on the back of... Halfords, now Halfords I'm sure still is Halfords, I mean this is, just for those who can't tell, I hope you could tell, but this is the Meal Brace Retail Park, so over there is uh, like Meal Estate, and if you get a little closer you can just see the, yeah, the flats over there, and this is the, the cracking great big roundabout that is the mammoth task of my life, I am s seriously getting bored of mucking around with that roundabout and just trying to get things correct. Inside these are obviously not done at all. In fact, it's fairly open inside these. Uh, again, maybe sometime in the future when I've not got just so much to do. But from down at, like, the bottom level here, I mean, yeah, you do. You get a bit of a feeling, like, you know, you're coming up on the left. Oh, anything coming? Nope. It's a bit of a... Speedy there, can't really go that quick, you can come around this way and then you come onto this stupid little roundabout that just always gets clogged up, McDonald's around here, so yeah, it's, it's all coming along nicely, it really is, but what I want to do more than anything is I've been trying to creep this way so I can get to, and it's going to be right there, the um, Shrewsbury Town Football Club, now do I think I can get onto that today, I hope I can get it started today, but in the meantime, I've been working on some train track designs. Now, if I just go in here and pick up some... I don't know where I'd find... Is gravel? No, that's andesite. Let's let's just pick up some gravel anyway. Gravel. Grav. I'll get that on there. And I think if I was to fill in all the way round the sides, round the sides with this then I'll be okay. A bit of grass here and there just uh, you know because it does grow through a little bit on train tracks but I think this is going to be a decent design that I've got here. It's going to at least give the idea of um, give the idea of train tracks um, and I'm actually not in the usual texture pack that I'm use am I? So when I move into that just now you'll be able to see a little bit better how this gravel looks. With twitchy fingers. In fact yeah let me go into that now and I'll come back and we'll just take a little look at what this is going to look like in the, oh I can't even remember the name of it now. Some Flo Flows HD, that's the one for those of you that may, I mean don't build along yourselves Jesus Christ, you've got better things to be doing with your lives. Only only I can be sad enough to take on something like this. Anyway, yeah, let me jump in there quickly so you can see. Okay, so here we go. This is more like what I'm looking for. I've uh, put a couple of bits of grass down in between here and there. I mean, I might be adding a few more bits of dirt just here and there, trying to... Well, it, they always look pretty pretty rotten, don't they, uh, train tracks, to like, like, there's just enough man-made stuff to keep the, keep nature at bay, but, but only just. So, yeah, this is what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make it go, like, a long way that way, because over here, uh, just while I'm on the subject of trains, I've got to remember about trains in this kind of situation. So yeah, here's the here's the road that comes up. Um, I can't remember what it is, but if it carries on up that way, on the right hand side is the opening for the for the football stadium and um, Percy Throwers Garden Centre thingy. So that's going to go this way, but this is going to have to go over the tra trains there. So there's going to be like a train bridge. So 
let me get that in now. We'll have a little look at distances and hopefully we'll get something sorted rather rather smartish. Well, I hope I hope we do. Well, I think it's appropriate that I come back and have a little uh, just a little chat about what I'm getting on with at the moment because I'm finding out that football stadiums are hard. They're not so easy. I'm going back and forth and back and forth looking uh, where like edges might be. You can see I used to have the old line for this edge there, but there's this curving bit, and I thought, well, there's about this much space in the corner. Like this is going to come up um, as the side of the stand. And I think it's um, stepped like that, so you'll have a line of seats coming this way with like a well it's obviously not made out of these materials but you know you'll have people walking up say say there and then you might have seats coming across. why have i got gravel gravel is the absolute worst but yeah so you'll have that and then along here you'll have lines of seats for people and again they're not going to look like this but i'm just trying to just trying to show where things are going to end up being. So that's that. You've got the same on the other side. So that means that there's a corner here somewhere. In fact, it's right in between these two. So if I pull them out to here, you might see... Does that line up there? Right, so there's the actual corner of where the pitch should be, I suppose. So this is wrong. <laughs> well, I no, I knew that this was wrong anyway. So I can get get rid of this and have another look again from up here. So yeah, uh, if we've got that there, let's I'll just go across into the other view for a second. Um, oh God! Well, you can't see what I'm looking at right now, but I am actually looking at a picture of the greenhouse meadow from space, no doubt, no less. Um, yeah, and it's not quite in the middle anyway, so. Let's go back and see what I'm doing here. Right, so on this, it's closer to this side than it is to here. That's for definite. Yeah, it goes further over. In fact, it's about, it is actually about level with here. So if I take it across there now, it wasn't such a million miles out, and take this out too. And then take it to this way. It's actually, I've got it totally wrong, trying to be, trying to be cute about it. But yeah, it is actually right there. And that's the, that's where you walk up and down the side of the pitch. And then it'll be about two meters, or two blocks. And then we're going to be, so that'll be there. And from here, this is where we're looking at the actual white lines for the pitch. So, so maybe I'm not a mile off. Maybe, maybe all I needed to do was sound it out. Actually, talk to myself for a minute, try it against you guys, and see what uh, see what was going wrong. But yeah, maybe. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't feel so bad about it now. And there's not going to be grass this side. Obviously, that's going to be um, that's going to be more of this uh, walking material. Again, I'm using gravel for the moment, just because it's closest to what I imagine it should look like, but I haven't really been looking just now, so maybe it's something a little bit more orange, actually. But I, I will check, and I will come back, and we will see exactly how much of a mess I've made of it. Well, I got a little bit bored messing around with the outside, not being able to do anything right, so I thought, do you know what, I'll just do the pitch for now, and that'll do me. And that'll be the end for today. No, it won't! I've actually got through one of the stands. Now, I think this is fairly close, but you'll notice there are no seats. Now, I'm hoping, against hope, that these... Oh, yes, they will. I'm going to say, I hope that they'll do as, like, seat backs. In fact, I bet when the whole of this is filled in, it'll look just spanking. No, nope, we won't have one in front of one. Um, now, I've kind of worked out where the letter should be, because it does spell the the town um, name at the back here. But 
if I just put in blues for now, as we're talking, my problem's going to be, do I use yellow or orange? Because there's no um, dedicated amber colour. It's only Minecraft, after all. So you don't get everything, unfortunately. But if I just fill in this side now, we'll have a little look together. And I'll do one of the... Oh, rain. Uh, oh, no, no. And I'm spelling toggle wrong. That'll do. Toggle, downfall. Um, yeah, so let's... Oh, come on. It's a bit faster, if you don't mind. Although, maybe it's one of those things. Uh, more... Oh, come on! Let's get that repaired now while I can still remember. Because I probably won't see much of this more than once. Okay, so if I got... There's an S, and then a T, and an F, and then a C over there. So let's do the T. Let's do it in the yellow. I've got a feeling this yellow is going to be a bit much for it. In fact... In fact... I'm not sure if I'm going to like the position that I've got everything in at the moment either. So if I go up like that, there's our T. Am I going to have to put in the F here? But if I do, I'm like, hmm. In fact, if I take it to there and to there, make the T bigger, maybe I can get away with doing more with this F. In fact, I think that's going to have to be the way. So, the F will go like so. Now, already I, I can tell that the yellow is correct. The yellow is definitely right. If I put in a, a line of these along this side here, just to differentiate... And then put in a C, so the C will be just a flat out. Um, oh, actually, no, it is slightly, slightly curved. Is that what? Obviously, I'm not doing a very good job here. And then the blue bit in the middle to come on there. Come on now, do as I wish. Clickety buttons. Uh, okay, so we'll just edge this off around here. In fact, no, why don't I just destroy the whole thing? Call the whole thing off. Right, what do we reckon? Oh, that looks ace! Now, that really does look ace. Okay, before I finish then, I was just going to... Oh, lag spikes. Before I finish, I will finish off the... Um, the seating on this one side, I was just going to end it off here, posing the question of yellow versus orange. But yeah, I'll finish this off camera now, and then we will just take one little last look before I end this episode of... Oh, I couldn't help myself. I, needed, I, I need to know if anybody, if anybody watches this and has an opinion of their own, tell me now, what do you prefer, the yellow or the orange? I've also put in some... Um, some glass panes at the back there, just for a bit more light. And there is actually some perspex at the back of um, the stadium anyway, at the top of the stands. So, it is right. Um, I haven't yet put in any of the... There's some fancy looking bar structures on the back here. So, at the moment, it's just a very average um, terrace sort of job, well, seated thing. You know, it's low league stands. But... Hopefully I can find something that will work for that. And as it looks at the moment, this is how it looks uh, distance-wise from over at the retail park. Um, I think off-camera I'm going to do a lot on the retail park between this episode and next just to try and bring it together a little bit more. And there is a massive car park I've got to put in here. And I am pretty much sick of doing car parks, but after the one I did over here, I'll just have one little last look before, I, before I'm done for the day. But after doing this one, and killing frame rates, um, this took a long time. And this is, like, small in comparison to the one that's going to be over there. And it was at least a little bit of fun to do because of the... 
um, these little bays with the hedges and stuff and little trees all over the place. At least I can make it look nice. This one is just a concrete slab with cars on top of it and white lines, which is just going to bore the dickens out of me. But anyway... Uh, same old thing, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do drop a like in there, you know, little channels like mine require it so much just to get any sort of views these days, uh, because of the <laughs> Minecraft being saturated, the market is saturated, but anyway, yes, if you did enjoy it, drop a like, comment, greatly appreciated, anything that you think I should do, just chuck it in the down there and I will read every single one, I get like three or five an episode so i'll definitely read it no worries about that and answer but until next time have great weeks guys and i will see you in the next shrewsbury in minecraft by thor thing oh hey have you ever noticed that oh banners disappear pretty quickly as you go back i wonder if you'll even be able to see them from the other side of the stadium that's that's annoying but uh, but I'm going to have to live with it, aren't I? And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.